Today, we're here to announce a, an FBI reward of up to $20,000 for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the individual responsible for the death of Tammy Jo Alexander. We've been up here many times before today asking for the public's help on this case, and the public has answered us time and time again. The public came forward with hundreds of tips after Sheriff Doherty announced in January of 2015 that Caledonia Jane Doe had finally been identified as Tammy Jo Alexander. And that was the time that, Tam that Allie Doe finally regained her birth name of Tammy Jo. The public generated hundreds of leads for us again in February 2015 when the electronic billboard campaign went live seeking additional information. And we're back here again today asking for the public to please spread the word about today's $20,000 reward and to please continue to contact us with any additional information. We won't stop. As you've seen, our work has never stopped. Our work continues and we'll come here over and over again asking that you help us keep Tammy Joe's memory alive and relevant. As we've seen over these many years, this is a joint investigation. It's been law enforcement and communities from across the country coming to get together to get us to where we are today. Please, let's not stop. We need to push this reward information out as far and as wide as possible. And we're asking that the public bring us any additional new information that will help solve this crime. This information can be provided to the Livingston County Sheriff's Office, their tip line at 1-844-843-5276. That's also 1-844-VLCSO. Tips can also be called into your local FBI field office or emailed to us at www.fbi.gov. Since we gave Tammy Jo back her name, we have received many, many tips that are, we continue to look into on a daily basis. Do you have any sort of timeline um, about where, her whereabouts, when she left Florida, where she went from there, how she got here? We have put small pieces of that puzzle together, and that's where we're looking for continued uh, answers from the general public. Uh, we can't put a definitive timeline as to when she left Florida and how long it took her to get here in New York State. So again, as already stated, we're looking for the public to hopefully help us fill in some of these blanks. Is there a six years in the past, what kind of challenges are there when you're talking about the 36, 37 year time period here? Many challenges. Obviously, the, the date and the age of people that are potentially involved or that could potentially help, they may be deceased. And actually, I found that out when I went to Florida. A lot of people who potentially could have helped me fill in the timeline that Jane asked about are no longer alive. So that's a huge hurdle just with the age of this case, trying to put the pieces together and not having the ability to do so. I do you have a close relationship with some of the family members and we do speak on a regular basis. Um, they continue to thank us for everything that we've done over the years and that we continue to do. And, you know, just they're as hopeful as we are that we will be able to find out who did this and hold them all responsible for what they've done.